In the previous video, we learned about what is substation and what are different purposes of substation. If you haven't watched that video, I'll give link for that video down in the description. In this video, we will learn about the different types of substation and different types of switchgear available in the market. So if you want to get these details, you need to watch the video. Now let's see what are the different types of substation. But before understanding the types of substation, it is important that you understand the three main functions of transmission and distribution network because to fulfill that fulfill these three main functions we need to have different types of substation so first we will understand the three main purpose of transmission and distribution network so the first one is of course power transmission the transmission of electrical power from generating station to different load center that is the main function the second one is the interconnecting function which improves security of supply and allows a reduction in generation costs. So as I said, uh, substations now handling power coming from multiple substa uh, power station. So let's say generating station 1 is also delivering power and generating station 2 is also delivering power. You can combine power coming from these two substation and give it to the load centers. So that is also a one function of uh, these two networks. And the third one is of course the supply function which consists of supplying electrical power to sub transmission or distribution transformers and in some cases to customers directly. Of course those customer needs to be connected to the distribution network. So in the supply function of course we have to supply power to the end customer that is our ultimate aim. Now there are some customers which are directly connected to grid also. So let's say there is a big factory then a 132kV supply will directly go into that factory. So these are the three main functions of transmission and distribution network. Now to fulfill these three main functions we need to have different types of substations. What are those? Let's see that. So the substation which is connected to power station. Now we know the function of generating station, the aim of generating station is to generate power, right? And uh, to that power station, there is a substation, dedicated substation connected, which is called as generating power station or generating substation. So that is one. And second is interconnecting substation. Now interconnecting means, let's say you have your own solar power plant and now you want to connect the power generated by that solar power plant to the uh, grid of your uh, utility. So let's say if you are working in Maharashtra then you need to connect that power to the grid of Maharashtra. So that is also possible and that can be done by using this interconnecting substations. Now the equipment used in this substation are similar but the purpose is different but whatever equipments we are using are same. The third one is of course step up or step down substations. So as I said, uh, when we generate electricity and then we transmit it at a very high level and that's when step up substation comes into picture. So they step up voltage to let's say from 11 kV to 245 kV, 400 kV or even 800 kV. And step down when we come to the distribu uh, distribution network then we need to step down that high voltage to a lower value so that customer can utilize. So that is step up and step down substations. And the third one is, uh, fourth one is converting substations. So if let's say you are having HVDC system in place, then you need to convert AC into DC first. And that's when this converting substations comes into picture. So on a broader level, these are the main types of substations available as of now. And you can uh, see it in a different regions, right? Now, once you are done with the types of substation, now the question comes, the types of switchgear, what type of switchgears are available and how to choose one, right? So now let's uh, look at that. So first and the most common type of switchgear used is AIS or it is also called as air insulated switchgear. Then the next one is a GIS which is called as gas insulated switchgear. And the third one is MTS that is mixed technology switchgear. Now this is mixed technology can also be called as hybrid switchgear. Now please make one thing clear in your mind 
these are the types of switchgear and not type of substation right huh, you can say that i have used ais in my substation but that that doesn't mean it is a ais substation it is a substation with ais type of switchgear right so please make this thing clear these are the types of switchgear and not type of substation type of substation we saw uh, in the last slide clear so now let's see what are these uh, different types of switchgear so ais of course as the name suggests uh, the insulation between the phases and to earth is provided by air at atmospheric pressure so there will be different phases as you know we have three phases r y and b the insulation between that phases will be provided by air and at that is at atmospheric pressure so there is no special arrangement provided in that case so that is ais or air insulated switchgear you can see uh, circuit breaker of air insulated switchgear on your screen so there are three phases three poles which you can see are three phases r y and b and in between you see there is nothing but air so the insulation between phases is provided by air and also from uh, to earth there is nothing the nothing means there is air only so that is air insulated switchgear clear the next one is gas insulated switchgear and again as the name suggests the insulation between phases and to earth is provided by insulating gas insulating gas so only by insulating gas by no any other gas so insulating gas can be the best possible gas available is sf6 gas so generally sf6 gas is used in gas insulated switchgear so in this case in gis everything is insulated by insulating gas uh, all the phases then also phase to earth is insulated from gas you can see on your screen so this is a gis switchgear so the, there are different compartments given so in each compartment there is a circuit breaker circuit breaker will have separate compartment current transformer will have separate compartment voltage transformer will have separate compartment and everything is insulated by sf6 gas and as you can imagine this is more safer than the ais substation or ais switchgear so this is a gis and also even the bus bars bus bar are also insulated by sf6 gas there are bus ducts provided and in that bus ducts there will be sf6 gas and from that your bus bar will be going so even bus bars are also insulated by sf6 gas so that is a gis now let's see what is mixed technology switchgear or hybrid switchgear so of course as the name suggests again it is the combination of ais and gis uh, switchgear so this is hybrid insulated switchgear where the base are made up from mix of ais and gis technology components so there will be let's say breaker in uh, isolator current transformer voltage transformer will be made up of uh, you know gis but the bus bars will be open to air so it is the part of ais so such mixed technology is called as uh, hybrid switchgear or mixed technology switchgear you can see uh, on your screen so this is the mixed technology switchgear this is called as one bay so one bay will consist of your circuit breaker uh, uh, disconnector current transformer voltage transformer and even in some cases a lightning arrester and the top portion what you can see here this one is are the bushings so there bus bars will come and bus bar uh, the connection will be given given to this bushings this is the combination of ais and gis which is called as mts or mixed technology switchgear clear so these are the types of switchgear available currently in the market and you can choose one of them let me know in the comment section what advantage gis offers over ais and if you are interested in knowing more basics about substation then you should check out the course that is available on the electrical guy mobile app so that's all for this video guys i hope you found the video helpful if you like the video do click on the like button and share the video with your friends and yes if you haven't subscribed to my channel do click on that subscribe button so that you get notified every time i upload such easy to understand video thanks for watching keep watching keep learning